Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and a return for me to World War II after my recent um, Napoleonic tomfoolery. It's, it's, it's had a, a shift in time to the Second World War where I'm more comfortable. And specifically my 15 millimeter um, chain of command project. Now last year I did a bit of a painting uh, video um, about these, how I go about painting 15 millimeter um, German figures. There is actually from the um, the plastic uh, Flames of War box by Battlefront Miniatures. Um, this is the the late war German Grenadier box. Um, I've had these for a while, um, looking for the right project. Um, chain of Command for me is that project. I'm really keen on playing Chain of Command in 15 millimeter. Um, so it's a great tactical rule set. And that's what I'm planning to do uh, this year. So I'm painting these. Um, I've also got um, a 15mm a US Airborne uh, Army to paint up as well. What I'm doing is basic um, platoon structures, not, not a whole lot of support options, just while we find our feet with chain of command. Um, so we're going to start out with two pretty basic forces, learn the game, and then we'll add um, a number of support options to it. I'm just really keen on playing <laughs> playing Chain of Command at this scale, really looking forward to it. Um, like I said, the tactical mechanics of the game, I think they're spot on for 15mm. Um, I'm, I'm really, really keen on, um, on getting a few games of this in. But, update on my painting. So, as you can see, what I've finished so far, um, and there'll be some photographs on the screen now, uh, as usual, is I've completed a um, HQ unit uh, with the Panzer Shrek team, um, two infantry sections and one uh, reconnaissance section. Um, the way that Chain of Command works is you start off with a basic um, platoon for, for the nationality you've chosen. Um, so for the German um, Grenadier basic platoon, it's a HQ, uh, a Panzer Shrek team, and then three uh, sections of um, infantry, which are broken down into um, an LMG team and um, a, a rifle team. Um, and each, each section is led by a junior leader, which is important for chain of command. It's all, it's all about the leadership in chain of command. Um, and this is where the kind of the interesting leadership tactical dynamic comes from. So all I've really got left to paint to complete the basic platoon is one last infantry section. So that'll give me a, a, a basic platoon a reconnaissance section. I need to pick up um, a two-five-one as a transport option for the for the recon team, um, and then possibly a, f a few um, heavy weapons squads. I've been looking at the um, the heavy weapons options from the Plastic Soldier Company. They look absolutely spot on. So they they may be something I might be picking up in the near future. But I want to get these these finished first. Um, likewise with the US Air Bomb, it's a basic platoon structure. It slight, differs slightly from the Germans. Um, but that's where your core, your core force is. It's your, your basic platoon and you add your support options um, onto that. But painting these, yeah, I, I'd actually forgotten how much I enjoy painting 15mm figures. Um, they're very, very forgiving. You can get away with re some really, really basic. These are painted really basically. Um, if you've seen the video um, that I did last year, um, I'll pop a link in the description below. Um, and it just outlines the steps that I... Uh, I take um, when painting these. Um, I can actually paint these um, 10 at a, tw a, a, at a time. I'd actually go so far as to say I could possibly paint between 20 and 30 at a time in a kind of a batch painting uh, production line. Um, that's something I might do with the uh, with the Americans uh, once these are done. Then it's just a case then of getting a couple of games of Chain of Command in. But yeah, I'm, again, I'm, I'm happy with how, the, how these have turned out. The, the actual miniatures are, are really, really nice. For the scale, um, the, the sculpts are excellent. Uh, I first got into, into Flames of War in about 2004, uh, the first edition. Um, and uh, back then, it was an entire um, metal range. There was very, very few plastics. Um, in fact, I don't think there was any. I think they were all either metal or resin and metal kits. Um, but now, I think the majority of the um, the Flames of War range is, is plastic. But these are some really, really lovely models to paint. They're very detailed, very crisp sculpts as well, um, which helps when you're doing you're doing highlighting. With when I highlight 15 millimeter figures, I do quite a kind of stark highlights. Really makes the figures pop uh, on the tabletop. 
Um, now these have been mounted on um, coins, so one, one pence pieces for um, single figures, and then two pence pieces for the um, Panzer Shrek team and the, the LMG teams. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how these, how these have turned out. Um, and again, not a lot of time invested in these, you can really fly through them. Um, but that's where I'm up to with my chain of command project. Um, hopefully I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do these as quickly as possible um, so I, I really want to start playing the game um, but I just thought I'd get a, a short video and um, just say I'm still working on it um, and I hope to have a few more updates uh, over the coming weeks into what my 15 millimeter um, project looks like well um, I hope you find that that video uh, useful or entertaining um, if you've got any questions or comments as I always leave them down below and I'll certainly respond to any comments or questions but as always thanks for watching uh, take care may your dice roll well and I'll catch you all in the next video bye bye for now